I'm assembling a solar cover reel for our pool. I ordered this on Amazon. Here is the reel set out. It's not yet fastened with any fasteners. I looked at all of the uh, different ones for sale on Amazon and it appeared to me that although they used some slightly different designs for the uh, end pieces and the wheels that they all use the same aluminum extrusions uh, for the expandable center rail on the thing and the Amazon reviews are full of complaints about the screws falling out these things sagging not lasting uh, people being disappointed in them so bearing that in mind I decided to take the advice of some of the reviewers on Amazon and beef up the uh, the hardware and the way that I'm assembling it. Now, our pool has a 16 foot wide solar cover, 16 by 36 feet, and uh, you need to leave a little room on the end of here. They recommend 30 centimeters. Uh, I decided to leave about nine inches so that meant with the solar cover being 16 feet wide that this pole needed to be 17 and a half feet end to end on the aluminum part I measured all of these pieces and they're 45 and a quarter inches if you uh, add together the three outer sections, the larger ones, they come to 135 and three quarters inches. Rounded that off to 136, 16 feet seven inches is 210 inches. Subtract the 136 and you have a remainder of 74 inches. And if you divide 74 by four, you get 18.5 inches. And that 18.5 inches is the distance for the inside pieces uh, to be shown. And what I did is I marked the uh, center points on all of the interior ones. And I've also marked nine and a quarter inches for 18 and a half total from end to end. Now that'll give me my spacing on this thing, but there's a problem there's a really sloppy fit between these extrusions so what I did what I did is 3d printed some wedges to take up the slop uh, on those spaces and those will be put in uh, at each end of the uh, three outer tubes total of 18 wedges. I have them driven in here and this one is now nice and solid without any slop to it. Now that's before adding the fastening hardware which we'll get to in a bit. These wedges make a huge difference in the stiffness and alignment of this uh, assembly even before any screws are added. Lift up on it which will open up the uh, side that you turn to to start inserting the wedge. Putting it in part way here. going to the last one here I have a stick here that I carved a slight radius in to line up nicely with these give it a couple taps to send them home
here is the uh, reel, the center pipe assembled to final length and with plastic wedges in place, no screws or hardware yet. It's considerably stiffer and straighter than it was. I will prop it up in the center so it's nice and straight when I install the uh, hardware. Fasteners have been added to the uh, rail. What I did was got some three and a half inch stainless steel quarter inch bolts and drilled three holes through holes and I staggered the places that those were put so they don't all pivot on the same axis and those are just snugged up they aren't drawn really tight there's no you can see the tube hasn't been deformed or crushed they're just snugged up tight and then I used the screws that came with it to take up a little bit of the slack from the remaining holes but all of these have been locked tighted in place and I noticed while I was uh, rotating the tube to put all the fasteners in that some of the wedges moved a little bit so I came back reseated all the wedges and then uh, wrapped each junction with this aluminum tape to uh, both hold the wedges in place and to reinforce and hopefully stiffen the joint a little bit and also to protect the edge uh, from chafing against the solar cover when it's put in place and uh, as I was doing all of the fastening I had the uh, center propped up to keep it as straight as possible while all of the fasteners were installed. Now there's going to be some sag in a tube, you know, that's almost 18 feet long. But this one, I'm rotating the handle here. As you can see, it's uh, pretty stiff and straight now, which is what I was shooting for with this whole operation. Still have to attach the uh, hardware to uh, clip on to the solar cover, but the uh, tube, which is the crucial part of this operation in my opinion, is now done. The uh, reel is now assembled and done. The solar cover has been rolled up on it. It does sag in the middle with the weight of the solar cover, which is to be expected. What I've done for storage purposes while it's out of the pool is uh, propped up the, the middle so it doesn't get a permanent sag or, or bend to it in between uses. And uh, for now that's it. We'll see long term how well this works out.